New Year's Day hockey is on the air as the Delaware Thunder start 2022 with their eighth matchup against the Binghamton Black Bears already this season. And it's now time for the Holiday Inn Express pregame show. Welcome to the broadcast booth, Dave Garst. We got a little preview of Dave and Mike here. And we, we have to start, Mike, with your professional hockey debut <laughs> up in Watertown. You got the sport number 24, the iconic goaltender number, of oh course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but how was that experience? Well, I tell you, it was a whole lot of fun. You know, you get to take warm-ups with the guys. You get to see the game from a whole different perspective. Everyone says the broadcast booth is the best seat in the house. No, no, no. It's it's sitting on the bench next to the guys. There was a good little tilt yesterday. Alex Basie was throwing hands. You get a bird's eye view of that. And then, you know, just the speed of the game. You get to really see how fast it is. And all I'm going to say is good thing I didn't get in the game. Of course. And we were all thankful for that. But... <laughs> Mike, obviously being right down there, you got a good perspective of the hockey game, got a chance to see some things, and there was some good secondary scoring. Let's start there in that last game. Let's talk right about Artem Allegan because this guy played really good yesterday. Speed to the net, got to the outside, was able to get to the net on a couple chances, and on a two-on-one, you know, a lot of times you look to pass, not him. This guy could really shoot. Absolutely. Adamo Asselin also getting himself a goal in that loss to Watertown. And, of course, the Thunder still looking for that first win at 0-16-1, facing a f familiar foe in Binghamton. And as we look at this game, Binghamton coming in a little bit shorthanded. This seems to line up very nicely for a potential first win of the season. Right. The Delaware Thunder have Ryan Marker back. They have J.C. Moritz back in the lineup. They have Dan Cangelosi back up in the lineup. That's three huge names for this team. You sit without those guys last night, and you're like, well, no wonder what happened What happened in Watertown obviously went that way. Now you get those guys back. Danny Kangelosi is a first-line player for this Thunder team. You lose a first-liner, him and Ryan Marker, that's tough. Now Brandon Lucchese gets to go back with Mike Swiderski and company. This could be a good Thunder team tonight, and I, I think we're looking at win number one. That would be great. And, Mike, as we look at this team starting to take shape, you've got that first line that you talked about and some consistency coming. Is that going to be the key to this team gelling and getting where they need to be and starting to get actually a win streak together? Right. Well, you look at the top three guys. It's Yanni Liarakos, Ryan Marker, and Dan Cangelosi, as we just said. Ryan Marker's the goal scorer. Yanni Liarakos sets it up, and Dan Cangelosi just causes all kind of problems. He wins face off. He gets to the net. He's good in his own zone. He's a banger, too. He'll throw the body around, not afraid to do so. That line has to start, and then I look to the back end. Alex Basie, he has to step up. He has to throw down the mitts possibly tonight if the opportunity presents itself, and he's got to win a fight here, get this crowd involved early. That will be a big deal, and also starting in goal back, Trevor Babin between the pipes, which is always a good thing. He's been a very steady presence in the net. So we're going to continue here on the Holiday Inn Express pregame show. We've got a little highlight coming your way here from last game. It's goal two of Ryan Marker's game against, well, actually two games ago against Carolina, and he's been on fire lately. We'll send it to break with that and back to wrap up the Holiday Inn Express pregame show right after this. He's switched numbers a few times. That's winning Lucha's the draw number now. Yeah, winning the draw was Dan Cangelosi. Lucchese with the puck. Power play here at 46 seconds. Lucchese left point, dropping it to Leo Rakos. Leo Rakos laid it in front to Marker, and he puts it in. His second of the game, and it's 2-1 Thunder. Ryan Marker, what a finish on the doorstep. Yanni Leo Rakos head up the whole way, finds Ryan Marker back door. Bang, 2-1. What did we say, Dave? Oh, we said it. And can you say five goals in two games for Ryan Marker? He completely leads the team in goals after a stint of not being in the...
And welcome back to the Holiday Inn Express pregame show as we continue to get you warmed up here for Delaware Thunder Hockey as the Thunder take on the Binghamton Black Bears for the eighth time this season. Thunder come in 0-6-1 against the Black Bears and the one opportunity that they had to, the closest opportunity they had to getting a victory was a six round shootout when Binghamton was in here a couple of weeks ago. Goaltenders this evening, it's gonna be Trevor Babin getting the start for the Thunder. Back after a short stint up in the upper levels of the minor leagues. And for Binghamton, we'll see for the first time Owen Liskowitz, the rookie goaltender, 6'4". He is definitely a big boy, 240, comes in at 1-1. One and one. We'll also recap those goaltenders as we get you set for the faceoff in just a couple of minutes. The referees are on the ice. We anticipate the players coming out soon as well. Should be a good one here from the Thunderdome. And that'll wrap up tonight's Holiday and Express pregame face-off coming your way next here on DelawareThunder.com. And the Thunder have made their way onto the ice surface for this one, game number 18 on the season for the Thunder. Still in search of victory, number one at 0-16 and one on the season. Forward line to start for your Delaware Thunder will be Yanni Liarakos, Dan Cangelosi, and Ryan Marker. And Joe Brennan, will be manning the point along with John Moritz. And again, the starting goaltender will be Trevor Babbitt. For the visiting Binghamton Black Bears, it'll be Corey Sherman at left wing, Nikita Ivechkin at center. He's been a thorn in the side of this Black Bear, or pardon me, this Thunder team, as well as the entire FPHL this season. And Josh Newberg will play the right wing. And again, the goaltender this evening, Owen Liskowitz at one and one with a 4.75 goals against average and 87% save percentage. We pause for the national anthem here from the Thunderdome.
There we go, a, another great rendition of our national anthem here. A nice crowd on hand at the Thunderdome. Dave Garson, Mike Basile, as Binghamton comes to Harrington, Delaware once again. And most of these games have been close. Five of the seven have been within two goals. And of course, all of them won by the Black Bears to this point. Just about set for faceoff. Nikita Ivechkin taking the draw against Dan Cangelosi. Trevor Babin to our right. Owen Liskowitz to our left. Delaware in their home black uniforms with gray piping and some white piping and the white numbers, Binghamton in their road whites with the Kelly Green numbers and Binghamton across the chest. We're underway as the puck settles in around center and here comes Corey Sherman and right away a shot which sails well wide and out Leo Rocco's lost it and it'll be lofted in onto goaltender Trevor Babin who gobbles it up. Babin wearing the white patch trimmed in the Philadelphia Flyers orange and uh, getting a second straight start here this evening, Mike. Well, face off to Babin's left. This Binghamton team comes in off of a loss to Watertown the other night. Head coach Rod Livingston. And on the other side for Delaware, coach Charlie Penn. Off the draw, Newberg wins it. And now Leo Rocco's picked it up, tried to feed Ryan Marker, he'll try to get it back, he turned it over. Sherman had an opportunity, and he lost it. Newberg will dump it into the right corner. Moritz back there. It's gathered by Sherman, who throws it around behind the net, picked up by Ryan Marker on that far side, and he'll regroup in his own zone here. Just underway. A little over 30 seconds in, first period. Glad you could join us here. Dave Garson, Mike Basile, Ryan Marker. Got that lead pass. He throws it over to Leo Rocco's, but it was a little bit too high, and it'll come back out to the neutral zone. Here comes Sherman. Dropped it back. Lucchese flung it forward, and now Nosev, the defenseman, offensive defenseman, turns it over. Lucchese picks it up. Flying on the right wing side and off the stick. The shaft of the stick of Liskowitz and into the left corner now. But Casey taking off the puck as Fitzgerald lost it. And I believe they're just going to say that deflected out of play. And we'll have a faceoff to the left of Owen Liskowitz wearing number 72. And watching him in warm up, he is a very big goaltender. You're going to have to get him to drop and go upstairs on him if possible. But Casey winning the draw at eludes McNally and back into the defensive zone. Babin will come out and help his defender, but it's going to be a turnover at the point. Gavin Abbott backhands it in, McNally behind. Nosev going to pinch and keep it in, settle it back. Gavin, Ab Gavin Abbott was still in the zone. Turns the corner, throws it out in front, an opportunity for Patrick Pollan, who just entered into the lineup. Or pardon me, Paulino back out the other way, Artem Alekin. That deflected off Anosev into the corner. Swiderski blindly throws it out in front, and it was intercepted by Abbott. And now it'll rattle around on the left side. Noah Wild after it, along with Miracle. And finally picked up by Adamo Asselin, who scored last game. He's got a lot of speed moving in. Went left to right, and then the puck just rolled onto the goaltender, Liskowitz, for a stoppage of play. Just over two minutes into play. And a little bit of uh, surprising, some feeling out here, kind of back and forth, some neutral zone play, Mike. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you saw Ryan Marker have a chance, try to go across the Iraq coach, the Aslan get it in deep there. It's just little things. Got to start moving the puck towards the net, making this guy work in that here, Liskowitz. Anthony Merrigan behind the net, started to play a little bit more regularly with this team, throwing it up to D'Angelo. And now up to one of the newcomers, Harkins, number 19. Jurich, who's played well, scoring quite a bit of late. Ryan Marker back out the other way, but a late offside. And it looks like Yanni Leorakos got in a little bit too early 
And the play is blown dead. Yeah, just a step over anxious there for Yanni Liarakos as Marker was going to be in deep there with a chance to score. Not the guy you want to see if you're Liskowitz. Ah, Liskowitz in just his second start here for the Black Bears. An unusual goaltender number in 72. But Mike wore 24, so I guess everything's good. <laughs> Merrigan in the corner. He's going to break it out. Tried to lead Harkins with it. McNally after it. Threw it off the referee, and it fell right into the lap of D'Angelo, who flings it into the corner. McNally pivots and gets it to Alekin. Alekin, two goals in that last game on the road in Watertown. And a feed up, and Swiderski has it, dropped it off. He, Nalekin gets it back, and a pad save, a left pad save by Liskowitz. It's a good save by Liskowitz through traffic, a slap shot from the top of the circle from a really good shooter in Artem Alekin. Merrigan, one against four, still got a shot opportunity. And in the corner, Jurich tried to get additional pressure, but out the other way comes Shea Rabinowitz. And Noah Wild was gonna jump off, so they're gonna have to wait, and Newberg will pick it up. You know him well if you've been tuning in. Josh Newberg, already with nine goals on the season. You know that guy as well, Nikita Ivechkin, who leads the entire league with 26 goals. Extremely dangerous, and we know he likes to cherry pick a bit as well. Big hit in the corner. Now Noah Wild is dropping the gloves with Corey Sherman, and now Wild's going after Newberg. Joey Brennan's in there as well. And we've got a little bit of a skirmish going on here early on, first period. And clearly, Noah Wild instigating there as he dropped the gloves right away. And Sherman, number 21. And Newberg, who's not afraid to mix them up a bit as well. And we'll await the penalties here. Of course, Noah Wild going to the box, Newberg as well. Yeah, we'll see if it gets to four on four. I think Delaware will be short just a bit here. Some remnants of that fight as well in the corner with a glove laying there. Oganesov will go over and retrieve it. So far, Noah Wild, the only culprit on the Thunder side. And of course, Newberg, potentially Sherman as well. Right beneath us here on your screen, you see Jurich talking it over with Basie and the officiating crew. So we'll take a quick time out back once we get this all sorted out right after this. And so we are back. It's going to be four on four. It's just two minor penalties, one to Newberg, one to Noah Wild. And off the draw, Sherman won it forward. So Sherman is not penalized on that play. And probably an accurate call, considering everything was initiated by Mr. Wild, who sits in the box. Marker, lead pass to Leah Rakos. Now a little bit too far. But picked back up by Marker. He's in on sides. Marker drops to Leah Rakos. Oh, that one on the, the inside of the post. Oh, within inches of getting the goal, Yanni Leah Rakos. And we remain scoreless. Four minutes, 30 seconds into this first period. That's why you got to shoot the puck. Yanni Leah Rakos has an absolute blistering shot. That one hit the crossbar and just out the other way. Here comes Nosev back the other way. Drops it to Oganezov. Top of the circle. Wrist shot. And a good right pad saved by Babin. And he collects the rebound for the stoppage of play. And uh, not a bad start here for the Thunder. And I like to see Noah Wild getting physical early on, Mike. Yeah, yeah. It's a big, big play there by Noah Wild. Throws the body. Drops the gloves. You know, no one was asking for it on the other side, so they played on four on four here, but Noah Wild tried to instigate, start something up here, get his team going at home. 
Continue on four on four, minute 12. D'Angelo's getting booted. This line has been playing very well of late with D'Angelo and Jurich, uh, especially. Jurich netting a couple goals the other night. Here's Swiderski. Sporting number 21, cuts to the middle, try to drop it to Lucchese, nothing doing there. Back out the other way, Fitzgerald. Drops it to Jurich, head up, and across the center ice dot. Jurich, all the way in, still has it, throws one at the net, and that one sails into the left field. It's out of here. Off the oh, crossbar, I forgot. Play. <laughs> this is not baseball. Baseball still in that labor stoppage, but hockey moving along, and particularly in the NHL tonight, be remiss if we didn't mention the Winter Classic starting uh, right about the same time here with the Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues. Oh, yeah. Here the score, 0-0. D'Angelo wins it. Fitzgerald at the point on the backhand out of the forehand. Moving all the way in, and he tried to cut to the slot. Was muscled off. Marker puts his hands up in the air, but he is going to be called for a hold. And Marker did everything he could to sell that that was not a penalty. The official's not buying it, and Ryan Marker will go to the box for a hold, and a power play coming the way for Binghamton. They're just 17% on the year. Yeah, both players, both officials, I should say, had their hands in the air there calling for the penalty, and now Delaware. And now Binghamton has sent out five players so they're going to have to figure this out. It's going to be four against three. And off the draw, winning it back is Holland to Merrigan. Merrigan to Ivechkin. Ivechkin setting up over there. Back to Merrigan. Merrigan waits, lets it loose. Not doing much there, and back to the point. Jurich dropping it off to Pollen to Jurich. Pollen just getting in. And now Jurich over to Merrigan. Merrigan with the wrist shot. It bounced off some bodies, possibly off of Flego. And I'm just being notified they adjusted the name. It's Paulino. He is a very late entry to this game. Patrick Paulino, number 25. There he is in the corner. Brennan beats him to it. Throws it up to Cangelosi. Oh, Leo Rakos was sprinting at center ice. Had an opportunity as the power play is now in full force for Binghamton. And a shot by Jurich and a great right pad and then into the glove, saved by Babin. It's a good little save by Babin there. Had to adjust to the shot from Jurich, makes the save and gets a whistle. And we'll have a media timeout. Power play will continue. When we get back, no score here from the Thunderdome. And we're back, five on four hockey. Power play here for Binghamton. No surprise that this one is close early on. As I mentioned in the pregame, five of the previous seven have been within two goals. Of course, all of them won by the Black Bears. Behind the net, Ivechkin, extremely dangerous. Ogonezov, top of the circle, drops it to Ivechkin, back to Ogonezov. To Nosa. oh, he takes the line, but doesn't let it loose. Jurich back to Nosef. Will he lose it this time? No, he gives it back to Jurich, and that one sailed well over the net, maybe getting a piece of it, Babin, and another stoppage here with 47 seconds remaining on the power play and a penalty to Ryan Marker. Jurich is one of those players where you just know where he's going to be, and he's still tough to stop. You got to keep him to the outside at all times, but on the power play, he's just going to sit in that circle and wait for the big bomb. So now it's Jurich, Newberg, Ivechkin, Ogonezov, and Nosev. A powerful line out there 
44 seconds left on the man advantage. Jurich floats it over to Ivechkin, who does the moonwalk and loses it. Kangelosi, full burst to speed, right wing side. Here he goes. He'll lay it off to Leo Rakos. And a pad save. That one might have been going wide. Great shorthanded opportunity for the Thunder. And they'll keep it in the zone there as Nosev settles down behind the net. Just 20 seconds left. Opportunity for one more rush on the power play. Seven minutes in, first period, no score. Newberg all the way around on the backhand. Throws it to the point to Oganezov. Oganezov pinches and then pushes it into the corner to Ivechkin. Pivots, stops, drops, and waits, and continues to wait. Power play is over now into the corner, Jurich. Marker back on the ice. Oganezov into the corner to Ivechkin. Off the stick of Babbitt and into the corner, Lucchese will fling it up to Marker, and it's now even strength hockey. A briskly moving first period here from the Thunderdome, no score. Dave Garson, Mike Basile here on the call. Marker dancing around. Oh, he had an opportunity to Lucchese, and that one glanced off his stick into the corner. Gavin Abbott was holding Lucchese. Oh, boy, are they going to call this on Lucchese? I don't know if I agree with that one. It is. Wow, it looked like Gavin Abbott was the one impeding Lucchese, and... Charlie Penns, Coach Penns on the bench yeah. is incredulous to this one. Just a tough call there on Brandon Lucchese as he's gonna sit for two minutes. I try to stay off the ref's backs because they do the best they can, but I don't necessarily agree with that one. And another power play for Binghamton, as I mentioned, came into the game at 17%. Obviously that drops after the initial non-goal on their first power play. Paulino, who just came into the lineup, as I mentioned, is going to be back out there on this power play. Merrigan and Jurich, along with Abbott, Paulino, and Ivechkin. Swiderski will take the draw. And now they're going to switch out. Paulino will go to the left wing, and Abbott will come at center. Buck one forward. Paulino gets it back. Jurich now over to Merrigan, into the corner of Ivechkin. At the hash mark, she'll roll to the top of the circle. Now to Merrigan. Merrigan will change places with Jurich. Let one on the goaltender, Babin, right into the crest, and an easy one for Trevor. It's a good save by Babin. You got to be square to the puck and make sure there's no rebound, and that's exactly what he did. Trevor Babin's been good early, made three or four pretty good stops. And Couple came on Nikita Iveshkin. And he is always challenging. Mike Constantino backing up Babin tonight. And a false start on the faceoff. And they'll do it again. Rainy day here in Delaware. Final game of the weekend for the Thunder. We'll have a couple more next week here from the DelawareThunder.com from the Thunderdome. Basie with a blast, but kept in by Merrigan at the right point. Then he lost it. Swiderski, good play to ship it out and back into the Black Bears side of the ice. 90 seconds left on the power play. Rolled around by Merrigan to Jurich. Jurich getting plenty of ice time. Binghamton very much shorthanded this evening. But they can uh, basically push a button and get the bus here as that shot. Ooh, just barely, and I think that got Babbitt up high as he kind of curled in, and that might have hit him up in the neck. And hopefully Babbitt is okay as he bends over in some discomfort. Yeah, yeah. that one hit him upstairs, Dave. Right under the mask, got caught under the paraphernalia of the chest protector. I'm uh, Stealing Doc my Emmerich. words now. Doc Emmerich. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc got it for me, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, as I was mentioning, this, this Binghamton team, eighth time they've matched up against your Delaware Thunder. So they know each other very well. And the Black Bears have had a pretty consistent lineup throughout the year, this being their inaugural season. Flego flinging it to the other side to Brennan. One minute to go on this second power play. A little bit of head hunting there by Brennan. Newberg gives him a shove. The good part is the Thunder get it out of the zone on Liskowitz. And Liskowitz is going to have to cover it up 
as Artem Alekin doing some good skating down to the other end with 52 seconds left on the power play. Yeah, it's a good clear there by the Thunder. You get it on the net, you force the goalie to make a play. Obviously, when you're clearing the puck from that distance, you're not looking to get it on net, but when you do, it's a good little play. And speaking of Alekin and Aslan, who are out there now, they combined for three goals in that last game. Alekin with two. We talked about in the Holiday and Express pregame, the secondary scoring and how important that was for the Thunder in the last game, even though they still fell to Watertown. Newberg lets one loose, and a nice glove save by Babin. Flashing a bit of leather. Trevor Babin out at the top of his crease. Newberg's got a good shot, but when you could see it the whole way, you could glove it down and have no problems with it. Shot so far in the period, Binghamton with seven, and the Thunder with five. D'Angelo to take the draw here. Again, 36 seconds on the man advantage. D'Angelo retrieving out of the corner. Attempted to backhand it in front. Now on his backside, still squirted out. Harkins had it, and back out comes Cangeloshi. Lead pass to Marker. Marker, top of the circle, good wrist shot, bobbled by Liskowitz. He is able to gather for the faceoff, but that'll take some precious time off the clock. Just 17 seconds left on the power play. Yeah, pucks to the net on the penalty kill is never a bad thing, Dave. That one from not a great angle, but Marker causes a rebound. Cangelosi just couldn't get there in time as 13 seconds away from two successful kills in the first. One last rush, Harkins here for the Black Bears, and he dropped it back to no one in particular, and that'll just about do it. Lucchese is gonna leave the box. D'Angelo with a chance. Oh, just missed that left post. And Lucchese will head to the bench. Leo Rocco's onto the ice, full strength. Halfway through this first period. Behind the net with the puck, Sherman. He'll drop it off at the point, and it was deflected. Fitzgerald with that weak shot towards the net. Marker now on the other side, leads it to Cangelosi. This top line is out in full effect. Cangelosi trying to dangle Harkins with a good defensive play. He'll drop it off now to Sherman, and D'Angelo will fling it in as they make a full set of line change. Marker bodied off in the corner by Peterson, and the puck will lay all the way down for an icing as Flago retrieves. We'll have a media timeout. We'll wait and see if they decide to take it as we're under the 10 minute mark. 9.28 to be exact. And they will. And we'll take a break along with them. No score here from the Thunderdome. Back after this. And so we are back. Seems like we haven't had a lot of five on five hockey here. Four minutes of penalties already against the Thunder. Face off to the left of Liskowitz. 9.28 on that first period clock. With Casey along with Swiderski and Alekin. And Newberg's gonna get tossed. Or no, he's gonna come right back. Newberg wins it forward to the point. Flago bobbled, then let it on the net. And it's returned, or pardon me, picked up by Swiderski, flings it into the corner. Swiderski battling with Fitzgerald. And now Oganesov throws it up to Ivechkin, who pinches it forward. Ricochets around at the center. Ice area, and Fitzgerald throws it to Flego. Now Newberg after it. Newberg with his head up. And Aaron Pass comes all the way out to the neutral zone. And Oganesov and Fitzgerald will regroup. Right up to Newberg. 
Deflected off Pedersen's stick. Now by Ivechkin, and oh, it bobbled right through. Babin into the corner, and that was a tricky one. Oganezov retreating, now Alekin. at center ice to Swiderski. Thunder were changing up the D, and here comes Ivechkin. Pedersen, Jens Pedersen with him. All the way around, Ivechkin again was looking in the slot, and Pedersen was in a little bit further. Alekin the other way, on size to Swiderski. Swiderski lets it loose, and it's a rebound and in! I believe Basie put it in on the rebound. The net had come off, but we'll await the official call on that. If it is, it's goal number one for Basie on the season. Well, the net might have came off at a second before, but it had no effect on the play. And Alex Basie gets his first of the season, and he's going to be a happy camper tonight. Alex Basie, five hole on Liskowitz. And I tell you, that's a fan favorite, Alex Basie. Alex Basie, who's been doing a ton of work and bringing a lot of energy to this team, as that was a little bit of a broken play. And Basie puts it in goal number one and point number three on the season. And the Thunder are off to a one nothing lead here with 8-17 remaining first period. Azalin tried to swerve his way in. He gets to the puck. Well, he kept it going. And Darling threw an elbow his way. And the puck bouncing around now on the far faceoff dot. Noah Wild's going to get on it. And caught flat-footed a little bit was Darling. Wild tried to push it towards the net. Couldn't do much. And Paulino comes out the other way. Paulino off the blocker. Just slightly off the blocker and behind the net. Here's Gavin Abbott, who's been seeing a lot more playing time. He's weaving his way around, off the glove of Babin, laying in front, and a chip at it was Paulino, and now Darling will have to retreat to center ice. So some uh, oddities there with those shots. Merrigan now to Abbott, who will pitchfork it in, and they'll complete the line change here, the Black Bears. 1-0, 7-23, first period. Well, Babin made the stop, but that's another one where you were looking at him. What happened? Harkins lets it loose. Long rebound by Babin, and it's going to come back out the other way. Leo Rakos. And he threw it in front. Marker deflected it, and a save by Liskowitz. Leo Rakos again. Back to McNally. Along the ice, deflected by Cangelosi. Tons of pressure here by the Thunder. Looking real good. Leo Rakos. Now the top line with Cangelosi and Marker. Nosev, or pardon me, Oganezov getting it up to D'Angelo now. Under seven minutes now. 1 0. Thunder. And they now need to build on this lead. Mike, we've talked about this quite a bit. When they get ahead, they need to keep grinding and put more points on the board. Maybe they can do it here. Leo Rakos feeding it to Cangelosi, and he shoveled it wide. Harkins lifted the stick, and now D'Angelo moves forward. Basie, the goal scorer, mixing it up a bit with Oganesov. Back forward is Jurich. Wide angle shot, and an easy one, maybe not as much as you would think for Babbitt. Brennan on the re regroup to Alex Basie. Now off the skate of Oganeza. Up to Sherman, who's up on the top line this evening. Sherman lifted the leg, and that one went to the corner. Now to the point. Newberg to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald back to Newberg. Newberg! And that wrister sails high and wide. We've got a delayed call coming up against the Thunder. Goaltender Liskowitz to the bench. Extra attacker coming out now is Jurich. And losing the puck was Sherman. And here's the penalty, the third. And it's going to be a cross check for Delaware. Was it Brennan in front? Have to wait and see. I believe so. Either way, it's. Or was it Basie? Well, it appears to be Basie here, the goal scorer. You don't want to give this team too many power plays, as we've seen. The percentage isn't there, but against the Thunder. They've been able to put the puck in the net on a regular basis, both even strength and on the power play. They'll send Newberg along with Ivechkin, Jurich, Harrigan, or pardon me, Merrigan, and Oganeza. Newberg wins it back to Oganeza. This is when they're dangerous once they get set up. Ivechkin, top of the circle, a little bit by on. Throws it to Merrigan, Anthony Merrigan. Top of the left circle. Oganeza walks the line, pushes back to Merrigan. 
Now to Jurich. Power play underway, 528, first period. Harrigan pushes that one towards the net, deflected up and out of play. Set the scene here, 523 remaining first period, one nothing Thunder on the goal by Alex Basie. Power play right now for Binghamton, their third of this first period. Newberg to take the face off against Lucchese. It's Jurich getting that from Oganezov, and then the puck will go over into the stands. Good crowd on hand at the Thunderdome on this New Year's Day. Happy New Year to all of our listeners and viewers out there tuning in throughout the season on DelawareThunder.com and tuning in to now famous pro hockey goalie Mike Basile <laughs> on Mixler on the road. You sit on the bench one game and you think you're all that. Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. <laughs> He's been talking about it all night. And rightly so, that's a pretty cool thing. As Merrigan lofts it into that left corner, kept in at the point by Jurich, walking right in, and he scores. Jurich blasts it by Trevor Babin, a power play goal, and that's goal number eight on the season for Jurich, and we're locked at one. That's one that was questionable on the line. I believe it stayed in the zone, but the Thunder are not happy, and. We got two goals that I guess are questionable with the net off and a possible offside. And the officials chatting about it briefly, saying maybe they missed one there. They will not reverse it. Power play is over after the goal. And just like that, the Thunder relinquished the lead. Face off here, Gavin Abbott losing it to Cangelosi. And now the Thunder will throw it in, under five minutes to play. And this comes right out in front to Ryan Marker, and he puts it in, two to one. Another one, some confusion, the puck bounced in front, and Ryan Marker scores again. For Marker, that's goal, lucky number 13, two one, Delaware. Well, that's just good hard work by the Thunder, like you said. Weird bounce off the end boards. Liarakos knew exactly where it was, centering past Marker. He's not gonna miss from there, Dave, it's 2-1. And Marker has come back into the lineup the last four or five games and just been explosive. That's goal number six in the last three, I believe, for Marker. Right back, Marker, Rister, and that deflected off Anosev, and it goes up and out of play. So Delaware gave up the tying goal, they get it right back, and they now lead by one, 441 in this first stanza. And a good response there, Mike, by Delaware. Yeah, like we said, it's a good hard-working play, get pucks in deep, and when you set up from behind the net, Dave, we talked about it a little bit, you set up from behind the net, it's a tough place for the goalie to find the puck. Marker with another opportunity to deflect it back and over the goaltender, Liskowitz. And he looks very beatable here in this hockey game. Sherman. Sit into the corner and now retrieves. Ivechkin lets it roll back to Nosev and it rolled right over his stick out to the red line. Nosev floated it over to Fitzgerald. Some confusion here for Binghamton trying to get it back. Now Newber in the zone to Ivechkin. He does a 360 and does another one and then lost the puck. Lucchese, left wing side, Basie will wrap it around. Basie and Marker, your goal scorers for the Thunder on this New Year's Day game. Evening for those that want to be particular. Marker picks it off, walking in on the breakaway, Rister off the post. Ryan Marker had another opportunity on his stick. He couldn't net that one as it went off the left post. Trying to throw it to the, the front of the net, Thunder keeping it in, Lucchese gets it, Lucchese waits. And it's blocked by Newberg out in front. Great play by Josh Newberg. And he is a little bit shaken up on that play. Puck bounces around and now Basie will regroup in his own zone. One, or 322 on the first period clock. Swiderski moving in with speed. And Swiderski all the way around behind it. Threw it out in front, Lucchese couldn't get to it. And Harkins will set up Jurich. Jurich the goal scorer on that big blast. He lays it over 
to D'Angelo. Great save by Babbitt, and he's tumbled over. A combination of Joe Brennan. And another forward flying in there, and Babbitt took the full brunt of that one. That was Jurich. Nevertheless, a great save. It was Jurich and D'Angelo rumbling towards the goaltender. Babbitt, Every, oh, go ahead, Mike. I was saying, everyone was expecting Jurich to shoot. He could shoot, and then he passes it over, and D'Angelo and got a little bit of help from Brennan as he landed on top of uh, Trevor Babbin there. Especially after that blast that he took to tie the game at one. We're going to have a media timeout. 2-1, three minutes, four seconds here left in the first period from the Thunderdome. And so we are back 2-1, five aside hockey, 3-0-4, first period. Darling lays it over to Merrigan. Goals by Marker and Basie. Basie is first of the year for Marker. It's lucky number 13. Jurich with the big blast and the only goal for the Black Bears. Noah Wild retrieving, got into a little bit of fisticuffs in that early portion of this first period. Noah. Stopping there, leads it up to Adamo Asselin. He's also out there with Shea Rabinowitz, who had a short stint here with Binghamton earlier in the year. Harkins out the other way. Oh, that one skittered on this rough ice at the end of the period, and Babin had to be alert. And meanwhile, the Black Bears keep it in for just a second. It'll come out through the neutral zone now. And Sherman leads it up to D'Angelo, or pardon me, to Darling. Darling and D'Angelo, those two big boys. Now Ryan Marker with seat on the right wing side, drops it to D'Angelosi. And it was ricocheting over towards the corner, held momentarily by Liskowitz. Merrigan feeds Sherman, wide open on the breakaway. Great shoulder save by Trevor Babin. He had to be alert, he makes a great one, and it's still two to one Thunder. Trevor Babin out at the top of his crease. Dave, I know we say it a lot, but that's where a goaltender's got to live on a breakaway with the defenseman bearing down. You know he's not going to come in and deke. You know he's going to try a shot from out, and Trevor Babin gave him nothing to shoot at. And he was just hanging out, Sherman, at the blue line, having a sandwich and some fries, and he was able to get that breakaway. Newberg loses the draw. Basie, now to McNally. And that one hits off the glass and over to the VIP section to our right up here in the broadcast booth. Stay tuned, Holiday Inn Express first period intermission coming your way in about a minute 48. Yeah, one of the fans nearly got hit in the head with that one as that deflected up and out of play. And be sure if you're tuning in and you're in the arena, Mike Basile will be signing autographs from his pro hockey debut after the game. I don't Art know about all that. <laughs> Artem Malekin leading it to Swiderski. It rolls to the corner where Nosev gets it all the way around to Newberg. Newberg tried to get it up to Sherman, getting plenty of ice time on that first line. Again, Binghamton shorthanded on this evening. And that's a good thing for the Thunder as they try to notch win number one on the season. Nosev at the point wearing the 88 Eric Lindros style. Oganezov will just backhand it in. But comes out, Nosev at the point. Got it to Sherman who deflected it towards the net and right there at the top of the crease, Trevor Babin. Yeah, it's a big save by Babin. Out at the top of the crease like we talked about. Easily sees the tip and it watches it 
right into the bread basket. Well, for those of you wondering, record-wise with the Thunder getting off to this 0-16-1 start, the worst record in FPHL history, that goes to the Battle Creek Rumblebees, who in 2019-20 went 1-45-2. And, and Mike has guaranteed that will not be the case with the Thunder. I told you, tonight's the night, Dave. Tonight is the night. Delaware got off to a good start. And it looks like Trevor Babin is seeing the puck well back there, doesn't it? Absolutely. And beyond the Rumble Beast, there have been a couple of teams that have mired in uh, losing, very much losing seasons in this league. A couple finished with two and four wins. Under a minute to play. Let's not worry about that. Positivity here as the Thunder lead. First period. Here comes D'Angelo. Left wing coming up. A little bit high was Flago. Puck goes behind the net. Jurich lets it deflect. Other side to Leo Rakos, who turned it over to Harkins. Right in front, Jurich on the backhand. And we know those are tricky. Babin right there again, top of the crease, and makes the save. It's a big save by Trevor Babin. Backhand from right at the low circle. After uh, a big save there, he picks up the loose puck and gets the whistle. Face off to the left of Babin. D'Angelo out there with Jurich and Paulino. Merrigan tried to 21. keep it in. Here's a two on one. Leo Rakos and Marker. Leo Rakos fakes the shot back. Hey, he got it back from Marker and they couldn't even get it on the net there as it just bobbled around in front. Last opportunity here of the period for Binghamton. D'Angelo in off the shoulder of Babin. Another great play by the goaltender. Babin has been spectacular in this first period as he usually is. Trevor Babin again. Dave, seeing the puck well. That's huge. I forgot I wasn't on the bench. I'm screaming 21 in your ear. Oh, <laughs> oh by the way, I thought you were saying 24. <laughs> 17 seconds on the clock. 24 being the pro hockey number of Mike Basile. The highly coveted goaltender number. <laughs> Everyone's did we, did wearing we, it. Did we mention you had a pro debut? <laughs> oh, we, we did. Paulino, back to Merrigan. 14 seconds. D'Angelo getting it to Jurich. Got to keep him off the board here. Buck rattles around back to Merrigan. And he had that go off his stick. And now Fitzgerald will settle it down. That'll do it. First period over. And the Thunder have the lead. At the end of the one period of play, Delaware 2, Binghamton 1. Stay tuned. Holiday and Express first period intermission coming your way right after this on DelawareThunder.com.
And welcome into the Holiday and Express first period intermission report. Dave Garson here, the Thunder leading two to one after one period of play. Alex Basie got the scoring started for the Thunder, his first goal of the season. The Binghamton Black Bears responded with a big blast by Tyler Jurich uh, from the slot area and it made it 1-1, but then right back came the Thunder on a goal by Ryan Marker. It was a broken play, his 13th of the season. And while the Thunder were outshot 22-11, they do lead on the scoreboard 2-1. Overall, a good period of play for the Thunder, a shorthanded Black Bears team. They were able to take advantage of it. Hopefully they can continue to wear them down as this game progresses. Second period, we will start even strength with the Thunder leading 2-1. Back to wrap up the Holiday Inn Express first period intermission report right after this.
And so we're back here on the Holiday Inn Express first period intermission report with the score Delaware 2 and Binghamton 1. Goals by Basie, his first of the year, and Ryan Marker, his 13th. Tyler Jurich getting the goal to tie it up at 1 midway through that period. Now we have scores from the NHL coming your way the end of first period. The Toronto Maple Leafs lead the Ottawa Senators 2-0. The Winter Classic going on right now on TNT in Minnesota. Target Field, home of the Twins. 1-1 the score there. The Bruins with an overtime victory over the Sabres. 4-3, Panthers winning 5-2 over Montreal. Carolina Hurricanes continue to play red-hot hockey. They lead, and, or actually the final score now, 7-4 over the Blue Jackets. Islanders with an overtime win against the Edmonton Oilers, 3-2. And the Predators blow by the Blackhawks, 6-1. Later this evening, Canucks at the Kraken and the Flyers at the Kings. A lot of college football going on as well. We'll get you caught up in the second period intermission on the rest of the action in the Federal Prospects Hockey League. But here, Delaware with the lead at the end of 1-2-1. One, one. Second period faceoff coming your way next. And so we are back, Dave Garson, Mike Basile, second period action just about ready for this faceoff. Second stands at Trevor Babin to our left. 
Owen Liskowitz to our right. Binghamton, Road Whites. Thunder, home dark black. And the Thunder with a lead, 2-1. Marker, Basie on the board, and Jurich, who had that blast from the slot, 2-1. It's loud in here, Dave. It is indeed, rocking at the Thunderdome. And the Thunder win the draw, Basie. Skates backwards, gets it to McNally as this second period gets underway. Quick pass out to D'Angelo, a high riser over the left shoulder of Babin, who had a tremendous first period. Now into the corner, Dan Cangelosi, part of this first line that's really been pumping, Marker into the corner. He's the unquestioned leader of that first line and of the team. Puck bounces over to Harkins. Heard good things coming into this game. Harkins, somewhat of a newcomer to the Black Bears. Hasn't done a ton here in this one so far. Turnover, Marker couldn't get to it, and Merrigan leads it up to Jurich. Jurich, very impressive, and a big, heavy-handed shot. Brennan. Backhands it over to Lucchese in the corner. Gets tied up with the official. He kind of did a little bit of a waltz with him there. And Lucchese will turn and get it over to Brennan now. Minute in, second period. Lucchese, lead pass from Basie. It comes right back to him. Basie sporting the big beard and a goal. His first this season. Now, right. Just like Natris, we didn't talk about it in the open, Dave, but he's not a guy who's going to score a ton of goals, but when he does, you get real excited for a guy who plays oh in both ends. Oh, boy, turnover, but that's an offside. Ivechkin was walking in. And uh, typically, Mike, when you say a defenseman doesn't have any offensive prowess, he ends up getting a goal. Do that a little bit more often. Maybe right. Joey Brennan will get a goal, and uh, it'll be back in goals galore. Appreciate all the... Fans out there viewing tonight's action here on DelawareThunder.com. I sit in the presence, or I stand in the presence <laughs> of a pro hockey goaltender in Mike Basile. We're going to ride this out as long oh, as we can, yeah, Dave. You better believe it. Ivechkin behind the net, trying to wrap around. It bounces out to Sherman. Sherman fired that. I don't know where it was going. It went between the legs of Newberg <laughs> into the corner. He fired it at Newberg. And now Flego has it. Pass up to Lucchese. Right wing side. Lucchese's got Swiderski. He couldn't get it to him, but now Swiderski finds the loose puck. Tried to get it back to Flego, who lost it out to center. Flego, number seven, getting it up to 17. Artem Alekin coming off a two-goal game. And Flego flicks it in and hits the body of Sherman. And there's Ivechkin. Cherry pickers galore. And the puck got by him behind the net to Joey Brennan. He's always waiting for that pass down at the other blue line because if he gets free, he's probably potting it. And he's got a great shot and great moves to boot. Adamo Asselin, as we mentioned, getting a goal against Watertown. Stops, throws it to Noah Wild, who lets the wrister go and bounce between Liskowitz and the post, and it did not go. And now out of play as the fans scurry for it. Liskowitz had no idea. I think it went between the armpit and the post and rattled wide. And the official knew it right away as that went a mile up and out of play off the USO sign in the corner. A golden opportunity for the Thunder who lead it two to one. It bears repeating that five of the seven contests between these two teams have come within two goals. So this will likely be a close one again, and is so far. Lucchese against Gavin Abbott. Well, Dave, these are these opportunities that we talk about for Delaware where you got to take advantage and take a lead. The Arakos throwing it to Cangelosi, and a penalty came out of that. Ivechkin goes to the box, and a power play now for the Thunder. The Arakos leading it to Basie. Not sure where that call came from. Back to Leo Rakos, now to Ryan Marker, in front to Cangelosi. Easy pad save, it was going wide anyway. Ryan Marker got back to it, and it bounces out in front to D'Angelo. Mike, I don't know if you caught that, but Ivechkin. Delay of the game. It was, oh, is that yes. what they call? Okay, yes, yes. all right. Sometimes I don't pay attention to you, Mike, as you can <laughs> tell. I didn't think it was a delay of game. I thought it deflected, but they called it. Leo Rakos over to Marker, and back now to Newberg. Newberg moving in shorthanded. Already 
three and a half minutes into second period play. Marker moving in with numbers. Drops it to Leo Rakos. He bobbled it a bit. Now on the backhand, trying to get into the slot. Dishes it off to Ryan Marker, and he scores! Ryan Marker nets another one. And it's three to one on the power play. Look at the water bottle, Dave. It's an absolute popper. Liskowitz has to pick it up in front of the Thunder faithful, and he's going to need a new water bottle. Ryan Marker, an absolute snipe from really no angle at all. That's just a nasty goal by Ryan Marker. It's a goal scorer's goal, Dave. You know, not many players are going to be able to pick that corner from there. Liskowitz is expecting a pass. He sees that. Back of the net. Bingo, bango. 3-1. And just what they needed, the Thunder expand the one goal lead, now lead it by two. Ryan Marker, goal number 14 on the season. And it's popping and hopping here at the Thunderdome. Shy of four minutes into play in the second period. Keep at it, that's the key here. Adamo Aslan doing just that. Moving in, lets one go, and a stick save. And clearing it up into the netting, Liskowitz. And as I mentioned, these taller goalies, you get them to go down or lean a little bit, and you hit those corners. But a tremendous shot by Ryan Marker there to give the Thunder a 3-1 lead. Well, that's just called a beauty, Dave. That's a shot that even I don't stop probably, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's make sure you can get in the booth next time with that big head. We're having a good time. <laughs> no, Wild <laughs> losing it. As Oganezov feeds Ivechkin. Oh, a turnover by Ivechkin. Not only did he take the penalty, then a turnover there. Unlike him, Newberg on the backhand. Gets it up to Pedersen, Jens Pedersen. Ivechkin behind the net, watch it. Throws it to the point, Oganezov, top of the circle. Laid it through, and a, an easy pad save for Babin. Ivechkin gets it back, right to Pedersen. He flicks it towards the net, and a stick save by Babin once again. Now Flego. Gets it out to center ice. Tried to get it up towards Rabinowitz, but it floats back to Sherman as the Thunder complete a line change. Ivechkin offsides. Oh, thank goodness they called that. It was clearly off. As uh, already four and a half minutes played. Got to give it to our producer and camera woman, Sue Lamb, doing a tremendous job as always. Well, we go back a couple you know, minutes ago, as all alone in front was Sherman, he just threw it off the post. It looked like Babin got a little piece, but a breakdown in the D zone for Delaware, not what you need up two goals. Moritz leading Marker on hat trick watch. He dipsy doos, keeps the puck. Ryan Marker, he seems to always be on hat trick watch. Moritz now in the corner. Leo Rakos. Oh, he had Marker over there. It's still going to get to him. Marker, the little skip over to Basie into the corner now out in front off the skate of marker marker all over the ice feeding off of that confidence throws it out in front to Leo Rakos and he is taken down no call now finally a call and I believe they're going to call Leo Rakos as Darling is down in front I don't know if the stick came up but initially I believe there should have been a call against Darling Leo Rakos the only one going and now Cangelosi has some words for Harkins and Darling is still down. Not quite sure as we take a look at the replay how that happened. Well, when Leo Rakos went down, he had the stick in the skates there, and the stick came up for Leo Rakos and got Darling right under the neck. And Coach Pens cannot believe it. And I'm, I mean, if you look at the replay, at least it should be coincidental because I think Darling got in there. Here, regardless, uh, we hear a chant from the crowd. The Thunder will be shorthanded for the fourth time. And we're only five minutes into the second period. The officiating the last two home games been a little rocky, to say the least. So Leo Rakos, who does not get penalized too often, will go to the box. An offensive zone draw here for... Binghamton. It'll be Newberg, Sherman, Ivechkin at the point, Jurich, and Nosev. And we'll have immediate first. timeout, and we'll share our partners from this season with the Delaware Thunder back after this.
And so we are back. Power play here off the Learacos penalty. Just over five minutes into play. Only goal in the period by Ryan Marker. His second of the game, his 14th of the season. Now they got to hold him off the board. Black Bears with Nosev. Ty Vetchkin back to Nosev. Nosev waits. Now Ty Vetchkin back to Nosev. Nosev patient. They're keeping him to the outside. Setting up the box nicely. The shot from the point from Nosev. And Babin saw it cleanly and makes the save. It's a good save by Babin. There was a bit of traffic in front, but you see big number 13, J.C. Moritz there. Clears out the front of the net, and the shot is swallowed up. Newberg against Swiderski on this draw to the left of Babin. Puck laying around at the dot. Swiderski gets it, feeds Lucchese. Short-handed opportunity. Two-on-one developing. Swiderski! He tried to pass it across, then took a shot, and it was saved. Lucchese there was stopped by the goaltender Liskowitz, but a great job. There's only 90 seconds left on the power play. Look at this by Delaware. This is a clinic right here. Lucchese makes the smart play. Instead of trying to force something to the front, sends it all the way back to big Joe Brennan, moves it across to Basie, and it's an absolute clinic on the penalty kill by Delaware there. Be careful here. Jurich, the goal scorer for Binghamton, back behind the net to Sherman. Now to the point, Jurich. Jurich over to Nosev. Nosev waiting, waiting. Throws it off to Ivetchkin with the blast and a blocker save, denying it right there. Goaltender Trevor Babin and flicking it out is Swiderski. Great job by the Thunder who are playing an all around great hockey game. Well, that's just good work in front. Trevor Babin knocks it down with the blocker. The rebound control, not his best work, but Mike Swiderski and Alex Basie help clear the front of the net and send it the full 200 feet. 40 seconds left and another great job defensively here on the penalty kill. Ryan Marker moving in, looking for the hat trick, lets it loose off the post, just off the left post. And that's the second clanger of the game here for the Thunder, I believe both by Marker. 20 seconds now remain on the man advantage. Ivechkin behind, Paulino was waiting out in front. He's gonna get the puck now behind the net. A lot of men down below the goal line here. Newberg, one of them, he'll now move up. Throws it over to Ivechkin. But it goes well wide. Jurich will keep it in. Six seconds left on the power play. Already seven minutes in to this period. Shot goes wide by Nosev. Even strength coming out of the box is Leo Rakos. Binghamton still controls. Ivechkin waiting behind the net. Tried to wrap it around. Not happening there. And Marker tried to heat it, hit it up to Leo Rakos. It bounces. And Merrigan will go back for it. Teams will complete their line change following the power play. Opportunity for Marker. Oh, the pass didn't get to him. Lucchese keeps it in. Marker had another chance, and it went between his skates. And the net comes off. Ryan Marker, two opportunities to net goal number three in this game, and the passes were a little bit too hard for him. And it's a great play by Brandon Lucchese off the bench, finds Leo Rakos, and they go to work. Marker one. Two chances on the doorstep, couldn't corral the puck. And we've talked about it at nauseum here, Mike, but really the goal here for the Thunder is to get another goal. Keep building on that lead. And they could have had two there, but hey, Dave, more importantly, that penalty kill was one of the best I've seen by this Thunder team at Basie. Absolutely. Big hit. Roy's Harkins. Harkins lost a stick and maybe a little bit of uh, some brain juice there as it comes back to Ryan Marker. Marker moving in. He's got Leo Rakos out in front. Oh, I don't know. It might have hit the blocker and the post. And uh, now behind the net, Oganeza feeding Jurich. The Thunder coming in waves. Harkins out the other way, flung forward by Moritz, but it's a turnover. D'Angelo moving in. He's all by himself right now. He'll have to circle behind the net. Jurich was coming late. Thrown out to D'Angelo. What a great save by Babin. Closing the armpit. Tight to the chest, and a great one there to keep it three to one. And the crowd over in the corner, absolutely ecstatic as Trevor Babin keeps this a two goal game. Both teams could have a few more, but hey, that's good goaltending at both ends of the ice, ain't it, Dave? Absolutely. Babin has consistently played well for this team, has seen just a ton of rubber to be exact coming into the game. 434 shots against Trevor Babin this season and you can add 26 more this evening. And now we're gonna have ourselves a fight. Miracle out there, and Flago, I believe. Is that Flago? 
Marigold throwing it. The jersey is over the Thunder player, who I believe is Flago. Marigold flailing with the rights in that corner. The fans loving it. Marigold number 17, and it was Flago, and the houses are rocking here at the Thunderdome. I don't know if Flago really got the gloves off too quickly there. The jersey was over the his head before, was the, gloves his head before off. the gloves popped off. And I wonder if Merkel's going to get an extra two for that as they're going to go take a look on Flago in the box here as he took a couple shots above the head, it looks like, above the eye. Oh, yeah, he is bleeding below the left eye. And the training staff going to take a look at him. And I love it. I love the energy right now in this building and the energy from the Thunder. You had the early fight by Noah Wild. You've got a team that took a 1-0 lead, gave it up, but have now followed up with two more goals. And then we're going to have a five-minute penalty up on the board, obviously, for the fight for Marigold. And we'll see if there's any kind of instigation. No, it's just to be five-minute majors for both. Yeah, those don't have to go up on the board usually. but Yeah, that's what surprised me at first. I thought, whoa, whoa. We got a five minute major on one side and now they're the officials signaling to take those down. And they're down. And they have come off the board. 11.37, second stanza here, Thunder three, two goals by Marker, one by Basie and Binghamton one on a goal by Jurich. Abbott on the draw, loses it to Cangelosi. Basie lofts it forward, Leo Rocos can't get it out, Cangelosi can. Here's Jens Pedersen. Pedersen, top of the circle. Waits. Oh, that one bounced in front. Hit some bodies. Coming away with it is McNally. Feeding it up to Ryan Marker. Could it be? He's looking for the hat trick. Marker turning, waiting, waiting. Shoots. And it stopped. <laughs> and not knowing where it was was Liskwitz. Marker finds it. He scores. Hat trick. Ryan Marker. What a play by Marker. He goes for the tour of Harrington around the cage. First shot, Liskowitz has no idea where it is. Somewhere in his pads, kicks it free. Leo Rocos pokes it into an open space, and Ryan Marker banks it in. And look at this, how the hats get on the, the ice. hats are getting out. They put them up underneath the netting as Ryan Marker clinches goal 15 on the season. He's got the hattie, and the Thunder, more importantly, have a three-goal lead. And when that, was the last time they had a three-goal lead, Mike? I don't know. Not this season yet, but that's <laughs> dedication. I love it. <laughs> There's netting around the whole arena, and somehow the crazy fans here in Delaware that we absolutely love the find a way to get them on the fans. ice. Yes. Crazy in a good way. Yeah, great. <laughs> the passion reminds me of those Philadelphia fans. Absolutely and love it. It certainly doesn't remind me of Islanders fans. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nine minutes into play here in the second period. Already two goals in the period, both by Ryan Marker. Goals number 14 and 15. The hat trick for Marker. And it's really feeling good here in the Thunderdome. It is electric, Dave. And now this team needs to stay pedal to the metal. Sherman dropping it into the corner. Ivechkin, shorthanded Black Bears. Trying to mount a comeback. Newberg chips it back to Ivechkin. Great coverage here by Noah Wild as he throws the body a bit. Back at the point, Sherman. Puck deflects. Taking a flailing attempt at it was Harkins. Now Ivechkin on the backhand. A great save by Babbitt. It rolled off his shoulder and wide. Now Ivechkin gets it right back. Pushes forward. Lets it loose. Goes down on his knees. Puck laying there. Right outside the blue paint. That was a underrated save by Babin as it rolled off his shoulder and wide. Well, as a goaltender, you know, look at Noah Wild. I love this kid, man. Chipping it up, getting in people's grill. That's what you need if you're the Thunder team. And now Delaware, three goal lead, Dave. You talked about it. Three goals by Ryan Marker. Unbelievable. That's called a natural hat trick, my friend. Absolutely. And it's as if we don't know what to do, Mike, because we're not used to this. The Thunder. The good news is after scoring the fourth goal, playing very well defensively. I'd love to see them get a couple more and really build on this before we feel comfortable. Face off outside the blue line. D'Angelo lost it. Here comes Arkton Alekin. Alekin moving in, wrist shot. And Liskowitz looks very shaky, particularly in the second period as he caught that one at the very last second with his eyes and was able to get it up and over the netting. Well, Alekin on that one changes the angle of the shot, right? 
He comes out and brings it in, and that's tricky for a goaltender, but from that far out, I agree with you, Dave. Liskowitz did look like he had some problems with it as Delaware sets it up again here. Basie pushes it into the corner. Swiderski, who's been a good energy guy, especially with Liam Little out tonight. Swiderski back to McNally. Wrist shot along the ice. That was a smart play as the goalie Liskowitz was a little bit impeded by the men in front. McNally lets another one loose. Deflected in front. Lucchese all over it. And finally gobbled up by the goaltender. Loving the effort. Media timeout. Thunder up by three. And we're back here as we talk about fast food during the commercial break. The Sue, good news. Sue's like, get back on the air. They <laughs> want to hear about our, this. Our producer, <laughs> Sue Lamb, said, hey, get with it here, folks. <laughs> Thunder are winning. All is good. If you're out there, you want to send a pizza over to the Thunderdome, do so now. 4-1. <laughs> Hogan Ezop. Over to Jens Pedersen. Under 10 minutes on the second period clock. Pedersen all the way around on the wraparound. And it bounced, I believe, off the left skate of Babin, flung out, and Oganezov tried to knock it down with a stick, it'll roll back to Liskowitz. You've got a rattled goaltender back there, you gotta keep firing pucks his way. Right now, shots 28-18 in favor of Binghamton on 18 shots, four goals for the Thunder. That's called taking advantage of your opportunities. McNally behind his own net. Trevor Babin, in my opinion, beyond markers, Hattrick has just been extra special tonight. He has. Trevor Babin's made two or three saves. And, you know, when you're up three goals in a game, you don't think about the goalie too much, but Babin is the reason. Here's Harkins. He's got Oganesov trailing, and he faked off on that puck. I don't know what he was trying to do, and he lost it. Cangelosi the other way with numbers. Marker off the pad. Rebound, Cangelosi, and they're coming at it again. Basie pinching from the point. A lot of confidence right now in this Thunder team and a tired looking Binghamton team who's also shorthanded. A uh, stick lays over here, and it looks like Basie might have been shaken up. He'll head to the locker room as play continues. Ivechkin trying to get it from Abbott. It'll go back now to Moritz. Moritz to Cangelosi, and that puck eludes him. He gets it back across the red line. Now across the blue line. Marker on that left wing side. Cangelosi tried to get it to him, but a nice play by Fitzgerald. Ian Marker had it for a second. Now Ivechkin will slow it down and get it to Fitzgerald. Oganezov will cross with Fitzgerald. And a easy glove save down to the ice by Babin with 7.48 remaining. 4-1 Thunder. Hattrick by Marker and a goal by Basie, who we'll keep our eye on, went back to the locker room. Not sure if he got caught with a puck there, Mike, or not. Looked like the hit got a little high on him and... He went to the locker room. Hopefully it's just a quick fix for Alex Basie. Face off to the right of Babin. It'll be Lucchese taking it with Newberg. Adamo Asselin was saying, eh, should I be out there? He'll come to the bench. Thunder came into this period with a 2-1 lead. They've been able to extend it to 4-1. The officials are chatting things over down here. Not sure what the confusion is. And if a penalty will be called. Well, you can't go back and give a penalty, right? So I'm curious what they're talking about here. Getting a peek at some of the broadcasters. My shoulder got in the camera. And uh, there's Rob. There's Rob <laughs> from uh, Binghamton. <laughs> Taking a peek over the glass. Right, we're all a little curious what's going on. <laughs> you gotta 
love the vantage point we have. We're directly above the uh, score board scorer's operator. Table, yeah. yeah, the scorer's table. And the gentleman down there will often tell me, a little bit of shaking here. I, I think it's because, uh, you know, Mike put on a few pounds <laughs> over the holidays here. Just a few. Just a few. And Alex Basie is returning to the bench. Got some repairs done. And Coach McLean chats with him. And I see what's going on here. Unless he's just grabbing his sticks. He said, I'm good. All right. Well, we still don't know what's going on with the uh, officials here. Oh, wow, they're going back and calling the penalty I, on the base here. I had a feeling that something was up. Of course, the majors for fighting. Flego is still in the box for the Thunder. And I don't see anything up on the scoreboard quite yet. Going to be a five on four for Delaware. Yeah, Binghamton only has four players out on the ice. <laughs> Coach Ben's shaking his head. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just keep this momentum going. We're up four to one. Let's make it five to one. He'll send out his top line. And it's Abbott in the box. And Abbott, yeah, number six, Gavin Abbott will get. They have five minutes up there. Wow, it's a major. It is a major, and this is a major opportunity and for the Thunder to extend the lead. Dave Basie's back on the ice. That's huge for Delaware. Right there. And this puck rattles around. Lucchese lost in front. Cangelo, see the Lucchese scores! Lucchese makes it 5-1 to one on the power play. Pucks to the net, Dave. Danny Cangelosi finds a loose puck in front, spins it there. Lucchese throws the monkey off his back, and it's 5-1 Thunder. Holy smokes. Just not used to this kind of, uh, of a lead for the first part, and just the... Tremendous amount of energy in the building right now. Lucchese with goal number seven on the season, a four goal lead, and keep in mind, because it's a major penalty, they're still on the power play. Right, and that's important. 13 seconds in, they score, holy, let's get going. And Newberg had that one go off his stick into the corner, Babbitt coming way out, rolls it around to Lucchese. So three goals in the period, for the Thunder, two by Marker completing the natural hat trick and one by Lucchese, goal number seven on the season. For Marker, he has 15 to lead the team. Who knows, by the end of the night, he might tie Ivechkin. Here he comes. <laughs> and here comes Ryan Marker, still on the power play. Oh, that was a nice shot along the ice, but it went wide. Leo Rakos kicks it from skate to stick. Rolls around the circle, it hits off the skate of Pedersen and out to center ice now to Joey Brennan. Well, Dave, most importantly, you know, up five to one, four minutes of power play time. Obviously, you want to add on, but even if you don't, it kills a lot of the clock. I know it's only the second period, but the momentum Binghamton can't take during this time, it's really important for this Thunder team. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Gloving it down was Cangelosi, and they're going to say hand pass? I guess they say he fully enclosed his hand on that. Faceoff's going to come out of the zone. They'll be out of the zone, so... For those of you just joining us. Let's see if they're getting Merrigan here. They are. Yeah, they Holy. are. Late call there. And he's getting a slash. An adamant official right there. Again, for those of you just joining us, Alex Basie started the scoring in the first period. Jurich tied it at one for the Black Bears, followed by three in a row by Ryan Marker, one in the first, two in the second. And then Brandon Lucchese making it 5-1. And Trevor Babin doing his job in net, and that's where we are. Four goal lead, a five on three, although the Black Bears have four on the ice. They'll send Pedersen to the bench. As he looks back like, hey, what's going on? Well, they caught a penalty on Anthony Merrigan, number two, and already in the box, Abbott. And if you really want to put the nail in the coffin, you would score, but they're shorthanded. Fitzgerald, and a great, comfortable save for Babin right in the chest. The logo right there, a good one for Babin. 
and you saw what Leo Rocco did. He's a forward coming back on defense, right? So he just takes the pass away. That's all he does. He lets Babin see it the whole way, and Babin makes no mistake, swallows it up. And now Delaware's got to get going the other way. I see Ryan Marker. Look at him. He's looking for number four. Oh, absolutely. That would be a beautiful sight to see here from the Thunderdome. Marker, right wing side, five on three for a minute 40. Marker goes all the way in, now around back. He waits patiently, patiently, as Mike said, taking the tour of Harrington. He might have hit Milford as well. Here's Basie <laughs> at the point, midpoint. Drops it off to Leo Rocos. Leo Rocos, back to Basie. And that one went right over to Leo Rocos. Back to Marker! And a pat, or pardon me, a shoulder save, but net, kicking the net off was Liskowitz. And we'll have a stoppage. Put a little extra water down on those pegs, huh, Dave? It happens well, every weekend. He lost plenty of water when his bottle exploded yes. on the Ryan Marker shot. And I tell you, the Thunderdome, the great part about the arena here is around the corners, the fans can just stand on the glass. And it feels like you're in the action. You get the great pictures from that vantage point. And it's just a different experience than at any other rink, honestly. It is. Great, great atmosphere here. Basie at the point looking for goal number two on the night and on the season. Big shot from a tough angle by Leo Rakos and a pad save. Basie again, Leo Rakos over to Marker, wide open at the circle. He waits over to Leo Rakos and getting across with the butterfly was Lewitsky and now over to Marker. Marker backhands over to Basie, couldn't quite get it. And Basie will settle it down top of the circle. Waiting, back over to Marker. Marker, oh, he tried to feed Cangelos, he couldn't do it. 40 seconds left on the two-man advantage. 2.23 on the other penalty, that five-minute major, which was a late call after the base, the hit against Basie. Leo Rocco spinning to Lucchese. Lucchese! Whoops. And that one went well wide. That's a whoops. Now Marker moving in. They're giving him a lot of space. Oh, and the feed from Leo Rocco over to Brennan. Didn't get there quite fast enough. Brennan just threw one at the net. It is in the net, but... The net came off again, and that was blown dead well ahead of the shot by the uh, Thunder player and the official making that call quickly. Well, that one you can't blame. You know, that one, that net's clearly off, and Liskowitz pushes into it. But it, it's got to be something done here, Dave. I'm not going to lie. It's one too many times every game. Maybe three too many. Well, Mike, you do a lot for the organization. Got out there during that second period. <laughs> we should have taken care of it. We'll take a media timeout, 5-1 Thunder. And so we're back. Sue gave you the point, Dave. You ready? She <laughs> said, you're on. I'm not on camera. The Thunder are. And they lead it 5-1. to one. Noah Wild, two-man advantage. Swiderski, he's got all kinds of time and space. And off the knob of the stick of Liskowitz into the corner. The first penalty is coming to an end. And a penalty coming up against the Thunder here will negate that portion of the man advantage. It's going to be a hook against Moritz. And actually the other penalty still has three seconds on it. And some uh, chance against the refereeing here by the Thunder faithful. 4.35, second period. Moritz will head to the box. Well now Delaware is gonna have 12 seconds of penalty time to kill eventually. Four on four, open ice. Not what you wanna see, up four goals. I'd rather play five on five the rest of the way, clog up the neutral zone, win a hockey game. I would agree, but the Thunder have been very composed in this hockey game and have been backstopped by Babin. Be a nice book, backstopped by Babin. Coming to a bookstore near you. Here's Basie, moving up. 
Swiderski. Let it cross the red line, and now Basie will chomp it into the corner. 4-18. Four on four hockey. Thunder up by four. Normally they say deuces are wild. Well, fours are wild here as an icing against the Black Bears. Well, Ivashka not happy. He thought he won the race there, but it's just a race to the hash marks, and Basie did win that race there. But I want to talk a little bit about next week while we have a second, Dave. we got oh, Realtors Night go, on go for it. the 7th, January 7th, Realtors Night here, and Saturday, January 8th is First Responders Night. A couple great nights here at the Thunderdome well, as even, the season picks up. Mike, even without a specialty night tonight, the crowd is hopping here. Great to see. Small community of Harrington, Delaware. Sherman getting it up from Newberg. Newberg over to Ivechkin. Be careful here, under four to go. Ivechkin into the slot, and it deflected into the corner. Now off of Basie, I believe, and now he's behind the net with a puck. Sticks in shooting lanes, Dave. Sticks in shooting lanes. The Abbott penalty expires in 53, so a short power play will ensue for the Black Bears if nothing else happens. Turnover by the Thunder. Sherman. Spun around on the backhand. Now we'll keep it in and pitch it into the corner to Ivechkin. McNally tried to get him off. Ivechkin keeps it. Attempts to wrap around, but great work by Basie to come back. And Swiderski moves in. 30 seconds until that power play. Swiderski makes a move. Now gets it over to Alekin. Proceeds to McNally, but back into the corner. And Nosev will regroup behind the net. Three minutes on the second period clock. Turnover. Ryan Marker behind the net. Looking for goal number four. And he's pitched off the puck. Great play right there by Fitzgerald. He went flailing all over. Lost the stick. Juritz has it. Fitzgerald gets the stick back. Juritz shoots off the mask. And it's coming off. Babbitt's mask is off. Where's the, the official calling the play dead? He finally does. And uh, waited a little too long there as Babbitt took that one off the noggin. And as they used to call it, the cranium carom. Just dropped right down. Babbin made a big save. And this is where you get your goaltender some help here. Maybe get the trainer out there. Make sure no pops are strapped off the back here. How, no straps are popped off the back. My apologies. Well, Mike, of course, took a few too many shots in warm up <laughs> off the head. Making that. Did we mention the pro debut of Mike Messia? Oh, did we talk about it? And Coming by the up way, at the second intermission report. By the report. way, if you happen to be in the arena listening to us on YouTube, watching, Mike will be around for autographs. He's waiting. I believe you signed with the gold permanent marker, correct? Yes, yes. yes. Sue's <laughs> shaking her head up here. <laughs> 2.43 remains and an eight-second power play here for the Black Bears. Ooh. That one went flying up towards Joey Brennan's head. Now over to Cangelosi, power play is over from the point and deflected, I believe by D'Angelo on the shot by Merrigan. And once again, steady as she goes for Trevor Babbitt. That's a really good save off a tip. And that's one where only a goaltender knows you're trying to find that near post, right? Make sure you're on it. Babbitt was exactly on it and it does not sneak behind him. And for Babbitt, he's faced 31 shots now. The Thunder were well behind in the shot category, but have now climbed up to 26. And five have tickled the twine this evening. Leo Rocco's feeding Ryan Marker. Does he have goal number four on a stick? Yes, he does! Ryan Marker makes it six to one, and he flashes four on the scoreboard tonight. What a beauty from Ryan Marker. Holy smokes, he loves that backhand on the breakaway, doesn't he, Dave? Oh, yes, he does. It's a great feed from Yanni Liarakos. He is a playmaker. Gets Delaware up five in period number two. And we're not speaking too soon, but Delaware looks good tonight. They certainly do. And uh, Ryan Marker just playing brilliantly. And I looked down at Coach Penns after the goal. We gave each other a little fist bump. <laughs> there. Coach is uh, very reserved, but uh, he's got to be happy with the effort here tonight. 6 to 1. Back out the other way. Newberg. Had to throw it over to Ivetskin. Couldn't get it there. 220 here in the second period. It's all that separates us from the second period intermission brought to you by Holiday Inn Express. Swiderski. 
A little dangle, and now he drops back. Top of the circle, over to the other side, Moritz. Let's Arister go. It bounced behind the net, maybe getting a piece of it was Liskowitz. And Fitzgerald feeding it up to Ivechkin. Ivechkin with no answers tonight so far. Will he have one here? Nope. He lost it on the move from the backhand of the forehand. It bounced off his body now in front as we tick under two minutes in the second period. Arta Malekin hard off the glass. Great play right there to avoid pressure, and Fitzgerald will have to go behind his own net. It's the little things as well, Mike, tonight that the Thunder are doing. Look back, at this. Back, back checking check. hard. Forecheck. And the four check, of course, here. Now Puck squirts out on Liskowitz, and that play right there is synonymous with what this game is looking like. The hard work, the little things, and putting the puck in the net. That's what a lot of people will go unnoticed, but it's Brandon Lucchese behind the net, up five goals in the second period, working on the four check. It's a thing of beauty to a uh, commentator's eyes, right? You love to see a good four check by a team. You have a lead, you don't want them to break out easily. They don't have a chance to break out and you get an offensive zone face off. Absolutely, back the other way, D'Angelo, full head of steam, moving right on in. Rister stopped by Babin. Big save by Babin with a minute 15 remaining in the second period. Thunder up by five, four goals by Ryan Marker in this hockey game. Three of them in this second period. Buck bouncing around. D'Angelo couldn't get to it and right back out by the Thunder. Great work. Here's Ryan Marker. Three on one. Marker moving in. Takes the wrister. And it's sitting there. And it is in the paraphernalia of the goaltender Liskowitz. Up between his glove and his sh shoulder pads. And Marker, I think, made the right move there to take the shot as the other two wingers were moving in quickly. Yeah, it was a really good save by Liskowitz as once again, he's gotta be ready for the pass, but he takes the shot, knocks it down and makes the save. Ryan Marker now with 16 goals on the season. Of course, leading the Thunder. And every night, he's on that score sheet. Swiderski, a bouncer laying there. Election couldn't put it in. Oh, he had it. The net was yawning, but he couldn't put it in. Now it bounces out in front. McNally just lost it to the net. Deflected. Great deflection by Alekin. Right pad save. Liskowitz penalty coming up against Lucchese. As in the corner, getting taken down was Sherman. And Harkins goes out the other way. 30 seconds on this second period clock. And the goaltender has gone to the bench for the extra attacker. You want to keep him off the board here. Either way, they will... He's shorthanded in the third period as Brandon Lucchese will head to the sin bit. Sherman saying he's got a little bit of blood. Let's see. I don't see anything from up here. See what the official says. As he grabs the ketchup pack. Oh, never mind. And uh, Lucchese will go to the box. It'll be a minor penalty. 20 seconds separating us from the intermission report brought to you by Holiday and Express. And it's been all thunder in the second period, four goals. Dave, you're 100% right, and this kill is so important. I know five goals might seem insurmountable, but you gotta get a kill to start. Not with the firepower that Binghamton has. And if you keep giving them power plays, you start to worry. 20 seconds. This is first things first. Get through this period with a five-goal lead. Yep. And then move on from there. Newberg on the draw against Leah Rakos. Back to the point. 15 seconds. Great play. Feeding it. Leah Rakos to Swiderski. Oh, it's going to get away from him a little bit too far to get an opportunity. But it should get us to the end of the period. And one last rush by Jurich. Center ice. And he gets a shot off at the buzzer as Batman gloves it down, a fitting end to a great period by the Delaware Thunder, who have their largest lead of the year. Going into the third period, they're up 6-1. We'll be back in just a few moments. We'll have the Holiday Inn Express second period intermission. Feeling good in the Harrington neighborhood here at the end of two. 6-1.
And welcome into the Holiday Inn Express second period intermission report. Dave Garson here with the Delaware Thunder holding a commanding 6-1 to one lead, mainly because of the play of Ryan Marker with four goals on the evening and five points. He added an assist as well. Yanni Liarakos has three points for the Thunder, all of those assists. Thunder came into the second period with just a 2-1 to one lead. Played well in the first period, but were outshot, and they absolutely blitz through the Binghamton Black Bears in that second period with four goals, three by Ryan Marker, a natural hat trick, and then Brandon Lucchese, number 77, added one as well. So at the end of two, the Thunder lead at six to one, and this has to be clearly their best play of the season. The question is, can they finish it off and play a full 60 minutes? We'll find that out as the third period inches its way closer. We'll be back, we'll have some scores from out of town including the NHL and an update on the Winter Classic. Back with more here on the Holiday Inn Express second period intermission right after this. And so we are back on the Holiday Inn Express second period intermission report. Dave Garson with updates from around the FPHL. Final score in Carolina. Carolina winning 6-2 to two over Danbury. And in another game taking place right now, Columbus leads Port Huron 6 nothing in that one. So sixes are all over the place tonight here in Delaware. The Thunder lead the Black Bears. Six to one, yes, you heard it right. The Thunder with a five goal lead as we head towards the third period, looking for that first victory of the season. In the NHL, the Maple Leafs lead the Senators three to nothing. In the Winter Classic, the Blues, after a one one game for most of the way, late in the second period, lead it four to one. In earlier action, the Bruins took down the Sabres four to three. Panthers skated by the Canadians five to two. Hurricanes all over the Blue Jackets, 7-4. Islanders winners in overtime, 3-2 against the Oilers. And the Predators with a big win over the Blackhawks, 6-1. Here, same score, 6-1 Thunder over the Black Bears. Third period action coming your way next 
Thanks for joining us during the Holiday Inn Express second period intermission.
Oh, yes, yes. And so we're back, third period action. Just about to get started. Dave Garson, Mike Basile, 6-1 Thunder. Yes, you heard it right. Thunder up by five as we start this third period. Short-handed. Short-handed. Brandon Lucchese in the box, another minute 41. And it's gonna be D'Angelo matching up against Leah Rakos. A festive atmosphere on this New Year's Day at the Thunderdome. Glad you could join us. And they're really getting into it now. The puck has been dropped underway, third period. Nosev goes back, Aliskiewicz to get the puck. Nosev circling, and he hangs out behind the net. 90 seconds to go on the power play here for Binghamton. Jurich, the goal scorer for the Black Bears, feeding it to D'Angelo. The hash mark, then he rolls it around Oganesov. Oganesov backhands it. It gets by D'Angelo all the way to the other side. Jurich, Jurich waiting, drops it off to Harkins, and now back to the point to Nosev. Nosev walking, floating one, and maybe getting a piece of it was Babin before it went up into the netting with one minute exactly to go on the power play here for the Thunder. Actually looked like J.C. Moritz to me, Dave, with that big stick in the shooting lane. Moritz has been very solid today in his own zone, and Moritz is a DFD, right? So when we don't say his name, that's usually a good thing. For sure, off the draw into the corner. Cangelosi ripping it around to Adamo Asselin. Asselin floats it up to Noah Wild. Shorthanded one-on-one -on -one with Nosef. Wild moves into the middle on the tangle, but it couldn't quite get the backhander. He might have been interfered with there. No call made. 40 seconds on the Lucchese penalty. Nosef to D'Angelo. D'Angelo has some speed. He'll lay it in around the corner. Harkins on the near side. Back at the point, Ogadeza. It floats out into the middle of the Aslan. He's got Cangelosi. Cangelosi with speed, one-on-one, -on -one, and he takes the wrister. He was aiming for that left corner, and it was open, but it goes into the netting for another stoppage. 23 seconds left on the man advantage. Cangelosi's a good hockey player, man. This guy got some space. He's smiling. He knows that thing had some steam on it. Liskowitz wasn't going to be able to catch up to it if it was under the crossbar, but unfortunately for Cangelosi, it was a bit high and out of play. And yeah, there was some opening in that left corner. Liskowitz, although he's 6'4", when he goes down, was leaning a little bit towards the right. 15 seconds on the power play. Merrigan up to Newberg. Newberg's been a bit quiet this evening, and hopefully it stays that way. Moritz tried to get to it. Newberg pushed it forward in the corner. Ivechkin dishes it out. Sherman at the point, walks the line, waits. Back to Ivechkin. Ivechkin, top of the circle, winds, fires, and it deflected, I think, Moritz, or maybe uh, even Swiderski got a piece of it, and now Ivechkin keeps it in. Power play is over, even strength hockey. Moritz has it. Good effort there, but he lost it. Ivechkin, right back over to Pedersen. Off a stick in front, off of Basie, in fact, and now Lucchese will pitchfork it up to Swiderski, and they get out of the zone as two minutes have expired here in the third period with the Thunder up by five. Four goals by Ryan Marker on the evening, five points total. Well, Delaware's doing a lot in the defensive zone, eating shots and active sticks, which we talk about. We haven't seen much of that this season from them, but today it's been especially good. And Lucchese throws one on the net, easy one for Liskowitz. And when you have a five goal lead, you know, settling back and playing strong defense, of course, is the key here. And you would expect, Mike, that Binghamton will take some chances, of course. We'll find Ivechkin leaning up along the far blue line, I'm sure. Well, we've seen a lot of odd man breaks for the Thunder. And in this third, I think we're going to see quite a few more because, like you said, the defense is going to be active in the rush. Paulino lays it into the corner. Getting right to it was Aslin. As they're getting a little bit more playing time to guys like Alekin and Aslin here in the third period with a five-goal lead. Well, Delaware's looked real good tonight, Dave. And like we said, it starts in the defensive zone. Yes, that first period was a little shaky. They were shorthanded probably one too many times than they should have been. But now they figured it out. They're locked down that D zone. And Trevor Babin's been real good when he had to be. Face off to the right of Babin here. Cangelosi will take the draw against Fitzgerald. 
Paulino, right behind him. He gets that puck and right into the bread basket of the goaltender Babin for the stop. Well, Babin needed a big game here tonight, Dave. His last two outings, a little shaky, especially for a good goaltender like him. But tonight he showed he's back on that top game here, and he's made some great A saves. Has Trevor Babin. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh the boy. linesman and the Fitzgerald linesman go and down. Fitzgerald collide. And Fitzgerald is not feeling well here. He is limping, and then he gets run into by his own player, Ivechkin, and they blow it dead. And the Thunder had an offensive zone attack, but they blow it dead. And it was it the official that got tangled up there? It was the linesman right yep. off the draw. It was a weird play right off the faceoff. Him and the linesman run into each other. Fitzgerald really having some problems getting to the bench here. The faceoff will come outside of the offensive zone for the Thunder. Cangelosi was actually breaking in when the whistle was blown. Takes the draw, wins it. Marker gets it to McNally. McNally to Basie. And into the zone, left corner, now behind Nosef. Playing it up to Harkins. Harkins to D'Angelo. Three minutes in, third period. D'Angelo all the way in. And a great save by Babin. Last second flash in the leather. Wrap around D'Angelo, maybe getting a piece of it again, Babin. Leorac goes out the other way. Marker up in front. He's gonna cut towards the middle. Marker with a dangle. And then he moved to the backhand, couldn't get through. Nosev intercepting back out the other way. Harkins, one on three, now getting support from Jurich. Harkins threw that one well wide of the net. Leorakos on the other side. The referee looked like he was gonna make a call. And now he's going to blow it dead because the net came off once again. Mike, you didn't fix that problem during the intermission. No, I was running around here trying to make sure you got your food. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Mike was nice enough to grab me a hot dog there in the second period intermission. From the coach's cafe here at. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Should we say you'll be signing over there after the game at the yeah. coach's cafe? That's fine. <laughs> You might be waiting all night for anybody to show up. <laughs> as Newberg wins it and throws it right on Babin, and that's an easy one for him. 16-18, third period, Thunder. With an all-out search for that first win. Will it happen tonight? Stay with us, you'll find out. Sherman into the corner. Newberg gets it to Ivechkin. Ivechkin. Muscles his way through, has the puck. Oh, he tried to lay it in front of Pedersen, couldn't get it there. And back out comes Swiderski. Swiderski moving in, and it rolled off his stick. Oganezov pushed it up, big hit, no oh, wild on Pedersen. Right out in front, Swiderski. And a pad save in the butterfly for the goaltender, Leskowitz. And that's Swiderski right alone on the doorstep. What a play by Noah Wild. He wouldn't have got an apple if they scored there, but he starts the whole play. It's the big hit at the blue line, keeps the puck in the zone, and Swiderski's just shaking his head. He's had some good chances tonight. Had a goal last night, but just can't find that finishing touch that he wants. And Swiderski's been a big energy player, as I mentioned, especially with Liam Little out this evening, bringing the gusto to the lineup Five goal lead. Leorakos wins the face off and holds Newberg off. Oganezov will retrieve the puck behind the net now. Right on out to Pedersen. Pedersen couldn't get to it. Alex Basie, who scored the first goal of the game, loops it back into the zone where Sherman's after it. Sherman off the boards and into the zone as the Black Bears will make some changes. Aslan lost it. Gets it to Marker, Marker flings it high. Good play when you're up by five. It falls out of the stick of Cangelosi. 2 on 0 Leo Rock goes Cangelosi, and it rolls wide. I don't think Liskowitz got a piece of it, but that was a 2 on 0 opportunity. Leo Rocco's trying to get it back to Cangelosi. Couldn't do so. Now Cangelosi lost the puck to Oganesov, and Oganesov gets it to Harkins. Harkins to Ivechkin who makes a great move at the blue line. Right on in, on the backhand forehand, he scores! Nikita Ivechkin, you just couldn't keep him out for the whole game. He makes it 6-2 for Ivechkin, that's goal number 27. Well, you were waiting for Ivechkin to get his, and he pops one under the glove of Trevor Babin and into the back of the net. And it's now 6-2, and 
you know, not a scare yet here, Dave, but it's a little something you got to start worrying about now as Iveshkin lights the lamp. Iveshkin extends that league-leading goals now to his 27th. As Jurich also lit the lamp in that first period, and it's been a while for the Black Bears. Just over five minutes in the third period play, and now a four-goal lead and a media timeout. We'll take a break. Back with more after this. And so we're back, 6-2. Out of the media timeout and out of the goal by Ivechkin. As I mentioned, goal number 27. Uh, Lekin got it from skate to stick, then off a of Darling. Thunder want to be careful here. Black Bears with a little bit of confidence. Cutting it to four. Brennan trying to get it out in front. Darling now has it. Darling dishing to Jurich. Had that goal in the first period. Artem Malekin in the corner, mixing it up with Darling, coming away with it, Lucchese. Lucchese tried to feed Swiderski, it went onto the stick of Harkins. Oh, looking over at the Binghamton bench, Fitzgerald's not on and he's actually sitting behind it right now. D'Angelo, oh, what a great defensive play by Moritz to ride him off the puck and out the other way. Lucchese crossing the red line, but it deflected off of Paulino right back to D'Angelo, he turns it over, and Basie floated it forward, and Oganezov takes over and dumps it off the stanchion. A, I guess it's going to be a break for the Black Bears, even though they go off sides, and Jurich is not happy with that call. It went off the stanchion, and Jurich letting his thoughts be known to the linesman. Well, it's a frustrated Black Bears team too right now, right? Anything... That goes a smidge their way. We'll probably not be happy about it. We haven't seen much of Miracle tonight, have we, Dave? No, I believe one shift uh, that came in that second period. And he's not a, a bad player, but you'd think you'd see him a bit more. Coach Davidson choosing not to use him. No civil dump it in and all those chicks. 13.25 remain it's in this third period. Marker backhands it to Basie. That's five-sixths of your goal scoring tonight. Marker <laughs> with four, and Basie with one. Oganezov, top of the circle, deflected, and up right below the American flag behind Babin. And a stoppage in play. Well, another active stick by the Thunder. That time it's Nicholas McNally, who hasn't been out too much today, but an important shift here with Alex Basie, as, again, like you said, trying to fight off the little bit momentum that Binghamton got from that goal. And both teams, a bit of a short bench here. I was trying to see if Delaware lost somebody other than Flago, who obviously after the fight has not been back in this contest. Moritz gets it to Brennan, now up to Swiderski. And turning in, Swiderski with a shot and a save by Liskowitz. And behind the net now, Merrigan. Back to Joey Brennan, now over to, to Shea Rabinowitz, one of his four, uh, few opportunities on the ice. Ivechkin reaching up for the puck, couldn't get it. Rabinowitz drops it back to Moritz. Moritz now to Brennan, and remember Rabinowitz played, a, I believe, a game or two with this Binghamton team before returning to the Thunder. Swiderski getting a good lead pass, moves in, and it's going to lay on to Liskowitz, who will freeze it with the glove for a... Pause in the action. Yeah, it's a good little play by Swiderski because the puck looked to be way ahead of him. The defense kind of gave up on the play and he just gets a hand on it and chips it forward right into the awaiting chest of Liskowitz. Face off to his right. D'Angelo will match up against Learakos. 6-2 Thunder. Only goal in the period by Nikita Ivechkin, his 27th. Nosef. Let's it go and Basie meets him there at the Vincenzo's sign along the boards. Lyarakos off the shoulder of Liskowitz and back out. 
Juric gets it. He's in all alone. Now he's got a man joining. Oh, what a great save by Babin. Windmill glove. And Juric is denied his second goal of the game. And keep that in, in mind as we move on. Marker getting it to Asselin. Back the other way. Thrown out in front, nobody there. Brennan will keep it in. Left point, winds, fires. It went off of Leah Rakos' midsection and back to Nosek. Look at the back check by Danny Cangelosi, Dave. That's how you win hockey games up in the third period. And that is what we're seeing a lot more of throughout this hockey game. Talked about it in the pregame with Coach McLean playing that full 60. So far, so good. Darling loops it up to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, who's back after bumping into the official or the official bumping into him. Miracle, there he is, Mike, back out on the ice. Sherman back pedals, now skate forward. And he makes a move, backhands it behind Babin, rolls out the other way, and pitchforked at by Fitzgerald all the way to the other side. Paulino finds the puck, late addition to the lineup here. Paulino all the way around behind. Thunder want to be careful, a little bit too much offensive pressure here for Binghamton in the period. D'Angelo. Stops it at the red line, gets it back to Sherman. Down to Miracle, back in. Well, Dave, you said it a little too much D time here. And the Thunder are up four as we close it in on the 10-minute mark in this third period. But it is a lot of time in your own zone. You get it to three at around the 10-minute mark, then it starts to get sketchy. Yep, took the words right out of my mouth, but that'll help. Swiderski taken down on a trip by Ivechkin, and Ivechkin's stick is still caught up in Swiderski's equipment. Power play coming for the Thunder. That's why I don't understand how you could complain about that one, Dave. The stick is right where it tripped him in between his skates the whole way down to the ice. And you wonder what the call is, and this could ice the game. Well, Ivechkin, he, <laughs> to say the least, is usually not happy at all when he gets a penalty. Uh, but that one was a clear infraction. Right, and, and I, I've never seen a player say to the ref, okay, good call. True. Face off to the left of Liskowitz, and as Mike said, this could seal it for the Thunder. Cangelosi, right side, back to Marker. Marker looking for the five spot. Leah Rakos, top of the circle, moves in, feeds Marker Rister, and I think it laid out in front. D'Angelo finds it and clears. It's a good block in front, Dave, and it's the same thing back when Delaware was shorthanded a little while ago. It's blocks in front of the net, that are able to work the clear out the easy way. Block drop, drop to your feet, and you easily go out with it. Say that one again. Here comes Ryan Marker in the corner, throwing over to Leah Rakos. Leah Rakos at the hash mark. Now he moves up top circle. Over to Marker. 940, third period. 115 on the power play. Basie, love nothing more than to get that second goal of the hockey game and of the season. Leah Rakos switches places with him, gets it over to Marker. Marker back to Leah Rakos. Leah Rakos to Basie. Here the face off dot. Leah Rakos, one timer. He scores! Possibly tipped by Lucchese, but I believe Leah Rakos will get the credit. You can put it on the board. It's 7 to 2, Thunder. Power play goal, special teams, beautiful tonight for the Thunder. The enthusiasm from the crowd. Trevor Babin, absolutely ecstatic. This team has worked so hard to get win number one, and they're 9 23 away from it, Dave. And Leo Rakos notches goal number two on the season and point number nine. Actually, he had a couple assists earlier, so I believe that's number 11 total. We have a media timeout. And yes, let me say it, five goal lead for the Thunder as we work our way through this third period. And so we are back. Big goal by the Thunder. Yanni Lirakos getting it. And up by five, Mike. Let's just keep it quiet. 
but something good could come out of this one. Yeah, and it's the Swiderski line getting a mix line in here with Shai Rabinowitz and Artem Alekin. And Paulino pushes it back to Nosev. And we mentioned that Binghamton is short-handed, but even without that being the case, the Thunder have played a great hockey game this evening on New Year's Day. No better way to start the new year. They're going to get a goal there. As I believe they're going to credit Oganezov off the wrister. And just like that, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's 7-3. to three. Well, right off the draw, Bingo comes right back. And like we said, it's Eric Oganezov with a beautiful snipe off the crossbar and in. So for Oganesov on the season, that is goal number four. And it's seven to three. Under nine minutes to play, third period. Oganesov in the net, getting it to Ivechkin. Ivechkin feeds Newberg. Don't get too comfortable here if you're the Thunder. Rabinowitz out there, Swiderski intercepting. He's got Rabinowitz going up the left wing side. Here is Swiderski, trying to cut to the middle. Having nothing of it was Newberg at the point. Basie floats one into the netting. And we'll have a break in the action. Well, uh, Shai Rabinowitz, instead of going to the net, he took a stride to the outside and tried to create space, but in doing so, he made it a two on two instead of a two on one. You just gotta drive to the net, even if there's not a lot of space, Go a little of a bit of a slap pass there, get it on the stick and just tap it home. Especially with a four goal lead, throw some pucks at the net, don't try the fancy stuff at this point. Right back to that top line for the Thunder. Not used to seeing the Thunder with a big lead, let alone scoring seven. Watch out here, Sherman feeding it. Oh, what a great play by Babin as it was deflected by Jens Pedersen. And they blow the play dead, combination of it, I believe, going out of play and the net coming off. And a penalty on Delaware. Uh-oh. The delay of the game, I think it's going to be Basie who just shot it right out of play. It indeed is. Delay a game. And Basie will head to the box. And if Binghamton wants any chance in this game, they'll need to score here. A little nervous here, Mike, especially if they net one on this power play. Well, now it's no time to get nervous. The penalty kill's been good today. That should have negated it right there, the interference on Noah Wild. Sherman, oh, that one rolled around in front near the blue paint. Kept in. Jurich, who has one of the three goals this evening. Wines, fires, blocker saved by the goaltender Babin. Into the corner, Sherman. Behind to Harkins, and, and I believe that Tickled off the right portion of the shoulder pad of Babbitt and back out and cleared by the Thunder. 90 seconds on the power play. Got to give goalies credits for the little ones they get a piece of, Dave. They're just as important as the one they glove and get a whistle. D'Angelo, all kinds of speed. Goes behind the net. Tried to get it to Sherman. Now he will drop it to him. Sherman on the backhand. Below that goal line. And Jurich is going to... Pass it out too far for Nosev, and it comes to the neutral zone. One minute to go on the power play. Adamo Aslan loses an edge. Lucchese back for the puck. Lucchese off the glass, up and out to Swiderski, who feeds Aslan. Aslan's going to try to take some time off this clock. He might even develop this into a play. Aslan walking right in, and he laid it out in front in the blue paint. Rolled wide and picked up by Ivechkin. He gets it up to Jurich. 39 seconds on the power play. Jurich has it, drops it. Oganesov with a shot and a save by Babin. That's a good one by Babin. And when you look behind you, it's not the best. But fortunately for Babin, the puck was in front of him. And he swallows it up for a whistle. And keep that one in the memory bank. Another big one for Babin. Four goal lead, 7-3 Thunder, 6-49 is all that separates the Thunder from their first win of the 2021, now 2022 season. Wine's oh, been having a chat with Joe Brennan, who <laughs> goes right back into the circle. That's oh, funny, man. That's good Like stuff. every other hockey player, Ivechkin off the pad, gets his own rebound, and it goes 
into the corner. Oganesov on the deflection, it stays in play. Bounces off the glass, Paulino after it. 18 seconds left on the power play. Oganesov to Ivechkin. Ivechkin moving in, finds it in his skates. And Babin, I believe, just pitched it behind the net, or at least it glanced off of him. Power play over in three, two, one. Merrigan a shot, and it deflected wide. Coming out of the box now is Basie, replacing him as Marker. And flying up is Archimelekin. Right wing side, over to Marker, and it went into his skates. Couldn't get it to the stick. Marker keeps it, though. Waits. Oh, good wrist shot by Marker off the shoulder of Liskowitz, and it remains behind the net. Hey, keep some pressure in the offensive zone. That'll take some time off the clock. But here comes Ivechkin, one-on-one -on -one with McNally. Ivechkin taken down, no penalty called. McNally tries to clear. Fitzgerald comes in. Fitzgerald, Ivechkin. Pedersen out in front. Tried to get it to him, couldn't. Oganesov got it back. And the puck is bouncing all over the place. Now Pedersen, penalty coming up. Oh boy, Noah Wild getting into it in the corner, and the gloves are off. I believe that's Fitzgerald and Pedersen, or pardon me, Pedersen and Fitzgerald in there, and Noah Wild is dropping him with Fitzgerald. Here we go. Noah Wild and Fitzgerald all tied up, so no punches have been thrown, and now the linesman will come in and break it up. And that is Noah Wild showing the great passion that he has for the game of hockey. Love the play of Noah Wild. And I believe it's Fitzgerald who is getting the original penalty for a cross check on the side of the head. Wild firing up the crowd here as Delaware still up four. And he goes straight to the locker room, Noah Wild. Uh, it's been a lot of those things. We've seen a couple of fights. We've seen the great back check, timely goal scoring that have all gathered together to get us within five minutes and 34 seconds of the Thunder's first victory of the season. Mo Vaughn's coming out of the bullpen. <laughs> <laughs> now Wild said, oh, too much time to go to the locker room. I just gotta go to the penalty box here. Well, he will definitely enjoy hopefully celebrating with his teammates after a victory. Josh Newberg and Alex Basie chatting it up here. It will be a Thunder power play. The officials pointing to the offensive zone for Delaware. That usually means they're going to be up for at least a couple of minutes. And the play by Fitzgerald, a bit dirty, the cross check back of the head there. And that's back to back games that happened a while as it was Coachman in Watertown the other night. And a wild thing sign being held up by the Thunder faithful on the right side boards. Well, he's a fan favorite for many reasons. He fights, he hits, and he's got four goals on the season, too. Five minutes, 34 seconds, power play as Fitzgerald gets two minutes. Lucchese with Marker and Cangelosi. Basie and Leorakos at the point. Newberg will take the draw for Binghamton. To the left of Liskowitz. Back at the point. Leorakos over to Basie. Basie winds. And it's off the pad of the goaltender. And Marker lost it. Ivechkin clears it. Babin staying enthusiastic there. Sliding out. Stopping it for his defenseman, Basie. Basie up to Ryan Marker. And he's looking to hit the five goal mark in the game. Moves in. And he'll just backpedal now and throw it out to center to Basie. Five minutes now on the game clock. 126 on the power play. Marker never gets tired out there, huh? He plays a ton of minutes and he's always flying around. Absolutely, ton of stamina for Ryan Marker. And here's a feed, Oganezov. Ivechkin was picking a large cherry at the blue line again, but he couldn't quite get to it. Leo Rakos, bodying it up there with Oganezov in the corner. Egonezov tries to get, to get it over to Lucchese. Lucchese has it now. Lucchese feeding Learakos. 55 seconds on the power play. Learakos over to Marker. Marker patiently waiting at the faceoff dot. Now to Basie! Oh, it was deflected in front. Learakos fighting for it. 
getting another piece of it was Liskowitz, and all kinds is going on down at the net area, Oganezov and Kangelosi. Meanwhile, Leorakos has the puck. Back to Basie. Basie over to Leorakos. Leorakos feeding it to Marker. Four minutes on the clock, 30 seconds on the power play. Marker, doing a little pirouette, waits, throws it across ice to Leorakos. Back into the corner and to the point, now to Basie. 20 seconds on the power play, that one went wide. And Oganezov will clear it back to the point. Leorakos and a big shot by Cangelosi, shouldered down by the goaltender. Seven seconds now on the power play. A shot from the side by Marker, and it's going to go out, and the power play is over. 3-33 left in the third period. Thunder up by four. Here comes Ryan Marker. He's got that wicked wrister. Thunder completing a line change. Marker, Marker doing yeoman's work keeping the puck in the zone and ticking valuable time off the clock. And Brennan will fling it back to Moritz, J.C. Moritz, with a four-goal lead. He and his fellow teammates, and ooh, shaking it up here in the booth. Big hit down below us. This puck will hit the stanchion above the center ice area and a pause in play with just three minutes and four seconds left. We will have a media timeout. Stick with us. Could it be? That's all we'll say for now. And so we're back. Four goal lead for the Thunder. Oh, those are nice words to hear with 3.04 remaining in the third period. Swiderski will match up against Newberg. Face off to the left of Liskowitz. Thunder are 0 16 and 1 on the season. What awaits them in three minutes? We'll find out. Artem Alekin spinning on a dime. Wait, speeds it out in front. Went off the skate of Swiderski. Swiderski back to Basie, who opened the scoring this evening. Oh, that one was deflected by Alekin over the head of the goaltender. Behind now, Swiderski. Swiderski, who's had himself a nice hockey game. Now 2.38 remaining. Newberg gets it over to Paulino. Paulino will just dump it into the right corner. Brennan goes after it. Two and a half minutes in this third and final stanza. Sherman dishing to Newberg. Newberg lets it on. Blocker save. Rebound. Now Ivechkin threw it out in front. Gets it back to the point. Merrigan, another save. Another save in front on the Newberg rebound by Babin. And a shot by Bolino on a glove save. Babin closing the door. He says no four times. That's the Trevor Babin you love to see. The glove hand is always active with Trevor Babin, and he makes a couple big glove saves. Babin feeling it, the crowd feeling it, and the whole Thunder team feeling it here with two minutes, separating them from their first victory of the season. Adamo Aslan out there. Ryan Marker with four goals. Lucchese with a goal, Leorakos with a goal, Basie with a goal. Here's Harkins, They're under two now on the clock. Jurich moves in, tried to feed it over to Harkins, couldn't get it there, back the other way. Marker with three on two developing. Marker in the middle, oh, what a pass to Cangelosi, and Liskowitz got over. He pulled the string on it, and Ryan Marker dazzling the crowd here as he tried to get goal number five. 90 well, seconds left, Mike. It's a beautiful play by Marker. And as you say, when you expect him to shoot, when he pulls it out like that, as a goaltender, you got to be square to the shot. So 
Cangelosi got a clean play off the pass. Maybe he absolutely buries that, but couldn't corral it originally. Tried to go up to the airs on Liskowitz, who's got a ton of size as he towers over the crossbar in the net. Look at Essov trying to feed Ivechkin. He'll go in for it. Keep an eye on the clock. Back on in front. Newberg missed it. Lucchese hard after it. 112 now. Newberg still working hard here. Moving in is Sherman. That pass was intended for him. He will finally get to it. Run into Oganezov. One minute to go. Third period. Thunder up by four. They're going to pull the goaltender here. Pad save, Babbin. Another pad save, Babbin. And a whistle here and a roughing call coming up, I believe, against the Thunder. It's going to be Lucchese. I believe it's boarding. He's not happy. Coach Benz and the rest of the coaching staff shaking their head. 52 seconds left in the game. A power play here for Binghamton. Well, it's a hit away from the boards and it's called a boarding penalty. So a little confusing. Understand why you thought it might have been a rough there on Luke Azy. Now all that matters is clinching the victory here now with 50 seconds left. Moritz hard off the boards and out the center ice. Nosev now with it. Newberg moving in. Hash marks and now below the goal line. 35 seconds left. Nosev at the point. Walks the line. Passes to Church. Back to Nosev. And now to Newberg. Newberg lets it go. Hit off the top of the glass and then the netting. And 27 seconds. You could say it now, Dave. Separating them from their first win. I was going to let you take it. You <laughs> did. So there you go. We're all superstitious goaltenders up here, but hey. We are. At this point, it's going to feel good. These guys have worked so hard for so long, Dave. You know you've been here for all the home games. You wanted to come on the road, but we shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> at the point now, Juric, 20 seconds. Nosev lets it go. Oh, what a nice save again by Babin. He let the left pad loose, and he stopped it. Juric fans on that one. 10 seconds to go. And the crowd is letting the Thunder hear it. Five seconds remain. It is over. The Thunder have started the new year right with victory number one. Thunderous applause for the Delaware Thunder. They are 1-0 in 2022, taking down the Binghamton Black Bears 7-3. And we hope one of many to come in 2022 here for the Delaware Thunder. Coach Pence feeling it, the entire team loving it, and the crowd supporting them throughout. Many of these fans here at every game and doing a great job. Final score, 7-3. Thunder take down the Black Bears. They'll salute the fans. And they'll walk away with a victory. And for all of you that have been watching and tuning in throughout the season, that's what you've been waiting for. It took a little long, longer than we wanted, but the Thunder are now 1-16 and 1, all three of their points coming against Binghamton. Final score once again, Delaware 7, Binghamton 3, back to wrap it up on the Holiday and Express postgame show right after this.
the Holiday Inn Express postgame show. And for the first time, it's with the Thunder getting a victory. Final score this evening from the Thunderdome. Delaware wins it 7-3 over Binghamton. Stars of the game being announced right now. The third star, Brandon Lucchese, with a goal. And at one point, uh, Trevor Babin, the second star, had a great night. Safe percentage in the game of 94%. And Ryan Marker, a six-point evening, four goals and two assists from start to finish. A great effort by the Thunder as they notch victory number one. They move to 116 and one on the season, and they drop the Black Bears to 10 and 11. From the start of this game, you saw the energy, the back checking, the forward checking, great saves by Trevor Babin at the right opportune moments, and great play by Ryan Marker, and that first line, Dan Cangelosi playing great, and Yanni Liarakos getting a goal as well in the game. So once again, the Thunder do a great job. They win it on home ice. First win of the year. Yeah, they're 1-0 in 2022. They finish it off and take down Binghamton at the Thunderdome, 7-3. For Mike Basile and Sue Lamb, Dave Garson saying good night and good hockey. Victory number one in the books in 2022 for the Thunder. Once again, final score, 7-3 from Delaware.